The Media Hub is a great product, but it's not without its limitations. If you need more capacity, if you need more speed, or if you need it to be portable, Donco has a solution for you. Their Xbox One external hard drive. Links are in the description below. Welcome to the channel. This is Technoscope. If you're like me, your hard drive was already full long before Halo 5, Black Ops 3, Fallout 4, Battlefront, and Tomb Raider even hit the street. And did I mention that you can now download and install Xbox 360 games? And that's one reason why my Media Hub video is my most popular video. But there are a lot of people that come across the video and think I could get a lot more capacity with an external drive, plus it would be portable. Some have even made those thoughts quite clear in the comments section. So Don Co sent me this drive, and I think it's a great solution for those who want something that is external and portable. Now obviously it comes with instructions, but you know that I'm elemental and you know my videos. So I'm gonna tell you how to set this up, and I'll even touch on how to move your games to the drive itself. So the drive comes with a USB 3.0 cable, with USB-A connections on both ends. Unlike the Media Hub, this drive does not use the power of the Xbox One to give it power, something that many of you have expressed concerns about. The circular mesh is actually a functional fan grill. More on that later. So on the end here, we can see the USB 3.0 port, the power port, and the power switch. And on this end, we have the power and activity LEDs. Now I did have one concern with this drive. The screws that were used were stripped out on the heads, and this particular screw wasn't even screwed in the right way. In fact, all eight screws on the outside of the case were like this. But I must say, this is a very nice unit. And in fact, this thing seems like it's begging to be skinned or painted or customized in some kind of way. So I'll probably be looking at that in the future. And if I do, I'll get back to you on it. So you may have noticed while I was inspecting the screws that this is really just a hard drive and an external enclosure. Obviously that makes me very curious to see what's on the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and crack this open and we're gonna check out the internals.
Behind the round mesh piece on the side of the drive, there's a fan. But if I'm not mistaken, it's an exhaust fan, which means the filter that I just removed does not really make sense. Perhaps it's just there to give a uniform look. One thing you may also notice right here is that one of the screws is missing from the hard drive. That's not really of any concern, but it does kind of point to the QC problems that you see with the other screws on this drive. As we look at the other side of the internals, we notice that it has a three terabyte unbranded hard drive. The label says it's a 5400 RPM drive, which means as fast as this is in the future, you could actually upgrade to a bigger and faster hard drive and get even more performance out of this device. You just wanna be mindful of the heat that the drives produce as that could be a big determining factor on how long the drive actually lasts. So before connecting this to my Xbox One, I decided to connect it to my computer to see what kind of performance I should expect from it first. Immediately, my computer recognizes the drive and asks me if I want to initialize it. That's a good indicator that the drive is actually working as it should. At this point, the drive is initialized, but you still won't be able to use it even in Windows without first creating a partition. I already have a lot of drives, but we'll name this one X to represent an Xbox hard drive. These drives will only be storing large files, so there's no point in testing small file performance. There's no reason to do 4K tests or anything like that. So to test the real world use, I'll be transferring a large file, such as this movie that I have in my collection. So what I'm doing here is I'm moving the movie file to my SSD drive to make sure that I get the maximum throughput when I'm going from the computer to the new drive. This also helps establish a baseline as the performance that I get from any of my spinning drives is not going to top the SSD no matter what I do. So according to this, going from my SSD to the external hard drive, I can expect a performance throughput of about 145 megabytes per second when writing to the drive. So next I'm going to test the read performance and to do that I'm going to copy the file that I just put on the drive and I'm going to move that back to the SSD. And whatever that performance number is, is what I should get or what I should expect as the read performance number. So as you can see, the read performance is almost identical to the write performance. It's still pretty good. 145 megabytes per second for a 5400 RPM drive is not bad. Before you disconnect the drive and connect it to your Xbox One, go back to the computer manager and delete the partition you created before you tested the drive on the computer. Otherwise, the Xbox will think it's a media drive. So just like we did with the media hub, we're gonna go into the settings and format the drive.
After you reach the screen, power on the drive, and the Xbox One should recognize it momentarily. If you do not see this screen, you need to connect the drive to your PC and delete the partition. Next, you want to format the drive to work with the Xbox. And here I'll name the drive just so that I can differentiate it from the other external that I have. If you never plan to move the drive, you can go ahead and install new things by default. This will keep you from needing to copy and move everything that you download to your Xbox. And now your new drive is ready to go either as your new primary or as an archive backup for your other external drive. I don't have to tell you how long it takes to re-download your games if you lose them for some reason. So for our performance test on the Xbox One, I've decided that I'm going to copy one of the biggest games that I know of, which is Grand Theft Auto V. This game clocks in at a whopping 49.9 gigabytes. So moving this should give us a great idea of how well this drive performs when connected to the Xbox One. So I started copying Grand Theft Auto V from the old external drive to the new external drive. Not necessarily a super scientific test, but it should give us an idea of what kind of throughput we're getting. So I'm going to fast forward through this because it takes a while to copy 50 gigs of data. In the end, we came up with a total time of 20 minutes, 8 seconds, and 5,740 thousandths, whatever it is. But anyway, when I calculated that out, it came out to 41.28 megabytes per second being transferred. So quite lower than what the PC is offering, but I'm not really sure what to expect from the Xbox One. And again, this was from my external drive on a media hub not from the internal drive on the system itself. So I learned an interesting fact about the Xbox One. On the managed screen, the one that I'm looking at right here, it will show every drive that you have a game installed on. But on the main screen where all the games are listed, it will only show the first drive the game was installed to. And furthermore, it will only play the game from the first drive it was installed to. So to play the game from a different device, you have to delete the game from the other device first, the original device. Uh, this only occurred because I copied the game instead of moving it. But a uh, simple deletion of the original game made it so that I could run it off the external drive, the new external drive. And that's what we're doing right here. And that was a real-time load of the game Grand Theft Auto V. We all know that it takes forever anyway. Hopefully that will give you some kind of idea of what kind of load times you should expect from other games. So the Dokyo external hard drive for the Xbox One fixes a few complaints that people were having. 
Number one, you can use much larger hard drives because it uses a three and a half inch drive versus a two and a half inch drive. Number two, it's portable. You can unplug it from your Xbox, plug it into a friend's Xbox and play all your games on their system. And number three, it doesn't block the ventilation holes on the side of the Xbox One. Something that people have complained about, although I don't think personally it's an issue as the Xbox One is literally over engineered to cool itself. So take it for what it is, but this is a great drive. It is a great solution. It's a great all in one and it's actually cheaper than the Media Hub and Xbox and uh, hard drive solution. So. Uh, if you want an alternative to the Media Hub, this is definitely the way to go. Pick up one of these. The links are down in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was quite in depth. It was quite long. Thank you for sticking with me. If there's anything else you want to talk about, any comments, suggestions, or questions, leave those down below. And don't forget to subscribe and like. Also, if you're on cell phone, hit that little bell so you get the notifications. If you're on the computer, hit the check mark so that you get my notifications. Every time I post a video, you'll get those. My name is Elemento, and this is Technoscope. Twisted Curve Production.